some distance from the river, the herd take a nap. They are cleaned by the oxpeckers in a classic example of mutualism. The birds get fed and their hosts get rid of parasites, so everybody wins. Or is it so? Oxpeckers don't only peck at the bovines. They serve and sometimes pester a wide range of hosts. For these world hogs, the burden of so many birds appears bothersome, but they seem to tolerate them on exchange for their services. However, the oxpecker's favorite food is not ticks, but blood. They prefer to eat the gorged ticks, which have already done all the damage to the host. But they also drink the blood directly from wounds, as in the case of this buffalo bitten by lions. The banquet attracts oxpeckers of two different species, the red billed and the yellow billed. They suck the blood like feathery vampires and keep the wounds open, questioning the balance of the deal. Is there a fair exchange or is the bird just a parasite? The impala holds part of the answer. It would seem too fast to cling to, but in the end it can't escape the birds for long. Still, it is quite efficient at getting rid of ticks through self-grooming and would hardly seem to need the birds' services. If the oxpecker were a parasite, the impala would be its preferred victims, since it is easier to enlarge wounds on their thin coat. But the birds choose those hosts that harbor more ticks, no matter how big or how thick their skin. Much as they enjoy drinking blood, they are more cleaners than vampires. <laughs>